Hey beautiful people! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite baby girl. So guys, my name is Stacy. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know that from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Okay, so guys, today I'll be sharing with you guys my honest review on Bridgerton season 2 so I feel so bad that I didn't do um, I didn't actually review um, season 1 but season 1 was actually a really nice it was really nice I enjoyed every bit of it okay especially the romance <gasps> the fire <gasps> do you get so fast forward to season 2 guys so before I watch season 2 someone told me that ah season 2 Season 2 is rubbish. That she hates season 2. Blah 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 blah. I was like, ah, ah. Of, of all the things, Bridget in season 2 is rubbish. How? I said, okay, let me watch. And do you know that after watching this Bridget in season 2, like, damn, this season was filled with drama. Ah, I really enjoyed the drama. Season 1 was filled with romance, so much romance, so much sharing of shit, devouring of each other. You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but season two, she did drama, drama left right and center. I was actually expecting so much sex scenes. I was anticipating sex scenes, scenes in season two of this one, but I think just only one part that they even showed skin, and the skin wasn't even so intense like season one. So in case you have not watched Bridget in season two, are you expecting to go and see sex scenes? <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> Let me break your heart. I'm sorry. There's no sex scenes in season two. Okay, season two is, is really holy. But for me, for real, I would I love to see more sex scenes. Please, season three, I would love to see more fire scenes to get more sex scenes. Very hot. <laughs> so, so let me start with the Sharma family, Kate Sharma and Edwina Sharma. Those two, I like their character. Do you understand? I like how much of a big sis Kate was to Edwina. The whole protection, protecting her, making sure she's fine. And the thing that she actually came to look for a spouse for Edwina, not even considering herself. That was actually interesting. That was like selfless. But the part, the part, the part where she now fell in love with Anthony Bridgerton. <laughs> Seems to be like the most interesting part. You know, from season one, I never liked Anthony, the Viscount. I never liked him. He always had this bossy, authoritative energy. He always set out this energy that I wasn't okay with. Do you get all this bossy? I wasn't okay with that energy at all. Like legit, didn't like the energy. But in season two, it was really explained, and I got to understand why. He acts the way he acts. I understood him, how he lost his dad, the responsibility that was on him, and everything. The responsibility was carrying and everything. So at least in season two, I really had to like I got to like really understand him better. Like I think somehow I not even got to like him. Like him, like like him better. And I saw the, I saw a different part of him that I'd not seen in season one. Like for me, I really thought that he had no feelings, no emotions, but him showing emotions, ah, that part is sexy, for real, it's so sexy. So, Edwina and Kate, hmm, you know that part where she's like, I hate this guy, I hate this guy so much, but you're looking into her eyes, I'm talking about for Kate, looking into Kate's eyes and you're seeing love, and Kate is saying, I hate this guy. From the part where I knew that this girl was actually falling for this guy, was the first, the first ball party, after she met him, after they were hosting, after she met him that period, during their first ball party, when she saw him, I think you know this. There's something about this guy, and she followed him, and he was talking with his friends outside. From the way she was looking at him, from the way she got pissed at the fact, um, at hearing his conversation with his friends, I was like, ah, somebody you don't like. Like, why are you getting pissed, upset, and all that? Do you understand? So I was like, okay, maybe she truly doesn't like him. Then when he said showing interest in her sister and everything and everything, her attitude, her her countenance and everything, 
maybe at first i felt like okay she was protecting her sister because of what she heard do you understand she was like being protective of her sister normally big sister i do that a lot like my own can even be so worse like i legit delete numbers from my siblings phone i block i would block the person delete his number so have my sisters like you do it now that they are all grown that uh that, that she's grown that i literally just let her do what she's doing but before now she knows me i always like protect i protect my sisters a lot so i understood where she was coming from trying to protect her sister making sure her sister doesn't go with the wrong man doesn't do do you know what i'm saying so i understood that part then all of a sudden i started seeing another ha i hate you i hate you but you're looking at each other with one kind of eye do you understand you hate this person but whenever you see him your your heart beats like whenever you see this guy like her just looking at her face whenever she sees Anthony Bridgerton like her heart begins to race really fast like you can tell that there is something like there's something going on like inside this girl's mind like when she looks at him the way he looks at her like what's going on with these two people then I remember when they were when they went to watch horse riding he came like he wanted to sit with them and she was like no she was trying to like don't sit close she allowed that other guy to stay with her sis and all that so the guy when the guy gave him permission to sit like when he got up to go get drink for her i saw her, her countenance me i was like ah, what is this rubbish now can you guys just leave this place <laughs> because i think actually like like i didn't like his association with edwina for real anthony and edwina was completely off for me that's like baby edina is really a child like looking at her face i don't know if you guys did not see that part but looking at edwina i can see a little child just like my 15 year old sister telling me she wants to get married if i give you back and slap her see if i give you if i give you upper cuts ha huh? if i give you upper cuts the love will fly for your eye it's, it's just it will arrest you oh <laughs> do you understand that's the kind of that's what i saw like edwina she doesn't look like a little baby, like a little legit a baby. Looking at her face, I'm just seeing my 15 year old sister. I'm like, how would a child this small want to get married? Like, you want to get married to Anthony Bridgerton? How? That's like sugar. That for me, I said like a sugar daddy and a sugar baby relationship. That's how I saw it. So I wasn't okay with the relationship at all. Like I didn't like the relationship. From the onset, I didn't like the relationship. So I was very happy when Kate was trying to scatter the relationship. She didn't want it to work and all that. Me, I was legit happy in my mind. So let's go to Eloise Bridgerton. Eloise Bridgerton gives me this Sagittarius feminist bitch. You know this this feminist. She doesn't like marriage. Eloise is not the marriage person. Eloise just wants to be educated like Eloise just wants to be Eloise is legit a feminist she just wants to write books do stuff like just she's a career woman Eloise is legit a career woman so Eloise is not the marriage she's not after marriage <laughs> when they're dressing I remember when they dressed her up and she went for like the ball and all that when the queen got upset and cancelled the whole thing the happiness on Eloise's face, like she was legit happy. That girl was so happy. Oh God, like that girl was so happy. Ah, because she legit didn't want to get married. Like she doesn't like the whole marriage thing, and her relationship with with your shop. Ah, God. Like you know, from um, Mary Sharma, the mother of Kate and Edwina Sharma, she she actually got like she was thrown out of the land because she got married to someone that is not in their status. You know how the rich, just like the rich and influential, getting married to a low, like getting married to a nobody. That is legit how the relationship is. Eloise and Tia Shop, Tia Shop. <laughs> I don't even know if that relationship is gonna work. <laughs> how it's gonna happen? <laughs> but I legit saw that she liked it. Like that was the first time I was seeing Eloise, like really loving someone, like falling in love. I saw it in her eyes. Eloise really liked that guy. But that guy is like, but the guy and her, they are from. Two different words like they're legit like world apart like they're words apart so i'm even wondering how it's going to happen but i feel like season three is going to be about eloise and tio shop and maybe then penelope and colin ah 
<laughs> Colin has decided to wrap Penelope with 5,000 yards of friend zone. <laughs> he had friend zone that one, like, no matter what she does, she's not his. For real, like, Penelope is just not Colin's speck. Do you understand? So, I guess that's the reason why he's not finding her attractive. Like, she doesn't look attractive, let's be honest. Penelope doesn't look attractive. Penelope, Penelope looks really bitter. Penelope is bitter. I don't know for you guys. Maybe I'm the only one that is seen it, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section if you feel the same way. But for me, Penelope is just one very bitter grandmother. That's how that's why whenever I see Penelope, that's all I see. One very bitter, harsh grandmother. One wicked. Legit, she legit looks looks it. Maybe it's the whole lady whistle down thing rubbing off on her. Maybe, but she looks she doesn't look attractive at all do you understand so Colin and Penelope hmm I'm wondering if season three she's going to have a chance with Colin but I don't see it working but let's see what's going to happen then Miss Thompson and Colin Bridgerton hmm first of all why is Miss Thompson behaving like the whole world is around, like the whole world is against her Hello, you were the one that opened your legs wide and allowed them to insert something inside of you and got you pregnant. We did not ask you to go and sit on the D. Hello, baby. We did not put you on the D. We did not force you and carry you and put on the D. It's you that carry yourself and went to collect D. You to collect the D by yourself, all by yourself. So why are you now acting like it's we that forced you to collect the D? And you, because you finally got pregnant and acting like the whole world is against you says why why is this why so legit and um, so she after getting married to the brother to her lover you understand um the part where i don't get is why did colin go to, uh, go to her house like why did he go and look for her yeah i understand that what she did wasn't right lying about the whole pregnancy thing she not telling him about it isn't nice is that's selfish of her. Do you understand? You have to give people the liberty to choose. Sometimes they might even choose understanding you. Do you understand? Sometimes they might even act the opposite of what you were expecting. But I understand her fears and everything. So she, she had to like, keep it to herself and all. And so why did Colin go and like, look for her? Like, was they expecting that she would carry her child, leave her husband and follow him? I don't understand. Like I don't understand. Small Colin that doesn't even have his life planned. He doesn't. He doesn't even have any plan in his, his for his life. He's going to look for like is she. Try, is she supposed to leave her husband and her child, or she supposed to carry her child now, and run and follow Colin after he abandoned her, after after he dumped her. If he really really liked her, he would have still accepted her after finding out she's pregnant. If he legit really liked her. So it's really obvious that let's say he was carried away with the whole anger, the whole emotions and everything. So why are you coming back? Why? You come back to ask her like the beggar, I don't understand. Hello? I don't understand. Why? As in I was my mother was like, if this get tried there, I will slap her through this TV. That was crazy, like <sighs> no. So I like the fact that she actually put him in his place. Like I really love that fa fact. I love the fact that she made him understand that hello i'm a married woman i'm a family woman i have responsibility i have my family to take care of and you we don't stand any chance that is what you're supposed to do to your exes hello ex we don't stand any chance i've moved on so you move on too so i like the fact that she cleared it immediately do you understand I, another, another character that i really love in this movie you see Lady Danbury, ah my god, I love that woman, I love, I love Lady Danbury, like, I love how smart she is, like that woman, she's so smart, she's, she's an example of a real woman and a mother, like, she knows everything going on, like, nothing passes her by, like, she knows everything, even if you don't say, she knows, like, she was the first person that noticed that Kate was having feelings for Anthony, I love how she detected it. I love how she went to her privately to talk to her instead of like making it known like some woman will be like tell her mom and all those things, make it obvious and all that. I like how she like 
maturely went to Kate, this how the conversation with Kate, and I love how up open Kate was with her. Like I really enjoy her part. I love how she knows how to convince the queen, how she knows how to talk to the queen, how she just I love how she carries herself. Like, like I love her charisma for real. I love her poise. Do you understand? I love everything about her. Ah, Lady Danbury. She's like my favorite in this season. In fact, even in season one, she has been my favorite right from time. Like I love her composure. Do you understand? So she's one person that I really admire in this Bridgerton movie, especially this season too. I love how she knows everything, how she carries everybody, how she knows how to organize everything together and all those things. And then, the Federington family. <laughs> like whenever I see the Federington, I, I, just, I just want to laugh for real. Like they're so funny. Like they are really so funny. And yes, let's say Lady Federington, she's really... She's, she's dubious, she's sneaky, she's she's selfish and all that, but I love, I love what she did, like, I really just like how she protects her children, do you understand? I love how she, how she can do anything for her kids, like, I really love how she can do anything for her children. In season 3, I feel like Edwina and, the, and Prince Frederick, I feel like they're going to stand a chance. You know, in season 1, um... Daphne left Edwina, like Daphne left the prince, Prince Frederick, and chose the Duke. Do you get so she chose the Duke over the Prince Frederick. And no when the Queen told um Edwina, like, I have a cousin, Frederick, and I'm sure you're going to like him. Like so the Queen is already trying to hook her up with Frederick. I think the Queen already really liked Edwina. So the queen, but I feel like Edwina and, and King Frederick, they're a good match. Honestly, for me, I feel like they're a good man. Like they actually match each other. But Anthony, nah. The part I really don't understand was why did he propose to Edwina? Like, why you play with the young girl's feelings? You're in love with her sister, and you are engaging her. Hello. And actually, like, so let's talk about Kate and Edwina's relationship. Ha! Huh. If you were Ed Edwina, like, what would you do? Because for me, that would be that would really a difficult one for Edwina. Do you understand? Your sister is in love with let's say your sister is in love with your boyfriend and your boyfriend is in love with your sister. So you have to step down for your sister to take over your boyfriend. That's like a tough one for Edwina. I really understood how she felt. I know on the wedding day, that see that was so annoying. Why did you do that? Like she legit Kids legit removed her bank with her, allowed it to fall just to distract. Like, you want them to get married, okay? Like, why did you do that? Like, why did you do that? You want to distract from the way they're looking at each other. Ah, if it was me, Seth, that wedding is cancelled. I don't understand what is doing people. So, I totally understood where Edwina was coming from, and, I, and I'm so happy she forgave her sister. And she was even encouraging them to go ahead with the whole relationship thing. I admired her for that. Like I really admired Edwina for that. Okay, she's such a small, courageous girl. I like her. Like I really like Edwina. Like how she was able to forgive kids after everything. Because some people will not forgive you. Like you be the enemy for life. So, and Eloise and Penelope's relationship, Omo, see, I felt bad. If it's me, if I'm Eloise, I will really feel bad. That's betrayal at the highest point. Just like your best friend. Like, you know when she wrote that stuff about her. Yes, I understand that. Penelope was only trying to help her, like, do you understand? Because the queen was already thinking that she's Lady Whistle, that she's already, like, threatening her and all that. So, I know Penelope, Penelope was trying to, like, just get her face off Lady, of the queen. But, but that was really bad. Imagine someone you call your best friend doing that kind of thing, writing such mean things about you. That was really hurtful. Like, somebody you feel like, and she's been looking for this whole Lady Whistle down since, not knowing that your best friend is Lady Whistle down. Yes, I understand the fact that she was covering up, like, she was trying to cover her, like, she did not really trust, no, you cannot trust anybody, she doesn't know if, if he like, tells her she's going to be, you know when, as in, you're exposing, you're exposing everything, like, anybody, anything that goes on, like, your best friend's family, like, you, you carry the news, and if I, you don't, I feel like Penelope is not supposed to have a friend, because if you want to be, if you want to have such blocks, like, if you want to be that kind of person, you shouldn't have a friend, because you can't just sell out anybody, so I don't know, you cannot sell out somebody you call your best friend. You sell out their family, you sell out everything. So legit, she's not supposed to have a friend, for real. That's how I feel. So Penelope should just be on her own and be doing her, 
her crazy things. She shouldn't have a friend. Eloise, maybe Eloise definitely Eloise will forgive her. I know, but that friendship should not be there again because you can't tell her to stop. You can't ask her to stop doing her business now because she's definitely going to still talk. She's going to still write. She will write something. It might even be worse than. Um, so I feel like Eloise and Penelope's relationship is not a good one at all. She should just let her be. They should just be neighbors. Do you understand? So that is it. So guys, that's all for today. We're waiting for season three. I can't even wait. Like I really cannot wait. I like, just can't wait for season three of Bridgerton. Who's gonna be the next love story? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Who do you think will be the next love story? Season three of Bridgerton. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So guys, that's all for today. So thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Stacy Edward. Okay. So over here, I create content related to beauty, lifestyle, and personal development. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up. Okay drop a comment in the comment section and please stay tuned you can see my other videos down like they're in the description box you can just go watch my other videos okay i love you guys so much i'll see you in my very next video bye